Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf! Yesterday, we put our town ordinance, the beautiful town, into motion! And well, today, we got some things to do on Sunday morning, but before we do anything else, I say that we check our mails. We got oh, one new letter from Stinky. All right, what does Stinky have to say to this? Hey Emil, thanks for coming over to my house to play. You said some nice stuff about my place that really cheered me up. I can get, can't give you a medal for that, but I got you this. Sincerely, Stinky. He was gonna give us an award for complimenting his house as if such an award was to exist. I gotta say, complimenting a house of a person named Stinky, that does sound like something that's deserving of an award, but let's see what we got here. What do we have? Maybe we can put this in our house a little bit later. A library wall. Hmm. I'm not sure if that would go with the room that I've put together, but I think I'll at least see what it looks like before discarding it. All right, here we go. Before and after. I'm not really sure I like it, but I... I like the wall, I just don't like it with this particular room, so I might put this into storage a little bit later, just because I feel like it'd be kind of a waste to just throw it away, because maybe I can do something with it later if we redecorate or something like that, so... Always worth hanging on to it. Hey, look at this! The main man Stinky himself! How about we talk to him? Alright. Nice day for some exercise, eh? Gah! What you need? How about we chat? Jeez, I sure am hungry. When I get hungry in palate, I eat a nice peach. What is it with animals wanting peaches? What is it with this? Why is our native fruit such an elusive rarity that they are just making me go and pick it myself? In fact, I have two in my inventory right now. I'll just grab one and then talk to him again. All right, not complaining about it easy favors, just like I said yesterday, but what is it with peaches just being such a rare thing that they're just all like, oh, I gotta have one of those because I never get to have them. And I'm so hungry for one right now. I'm craving one. I can't just go find one on my own. Cobble time in three, two, one. See what he did there? I timed it with it actually disappearing into his mouth. Alright, so that's exactly what he was craving. Okay. And we get an effects rack. Stinky, you're giving me some really weird items. I don't even know what that is. What, like, a? Uh... will be honest, an effects rack, it sounds like some kind of interface designed by Apple to hold, like, your visual effects and video editing. <laughs> At least that's what it sounds like to me. I don't know. But, um... There is a certain thing that goes on on Sundays. It only took me about two minutes to get the first voice crack this time around. And well, I'm gonna sell my stuff to retail, and then I'm gonna look around for that thing that happens on Sundays, because I wanna show it. I mean, it's Sunday, why wouldn't I? Okay, so now that we got some cash on hand, we're gonna need that in just a moment for the thing that I wanted to show. Now, on Sunday mornings, you will get a visit- Oh, hey, really good time, you'll get a visit from this character, Joan, with a very unique voice to boot. Joan is kind of an interesting animal. She sells turnips on Sunday morns for about 60 years now, maybe even more. I'd say more like 70, and wow, even she admits that she can't remember how long she's been doing the same job. How depressing. Well, Joan, as she says, is a turnip farmer. And I don't need to hear the rules on this. I already know them. I'll just explain them to you really quick. Basically, she will sell turnips for a different price every week. You want to buy low and you want to sell high. How do you sell high? Retail has a different price for turnips every single day of the week for both morning and afternoon. Different towns will also have different turnip prices throughout the week, and you just want to kind of use it to your advantage to make a profit. Turnips used to be the single best way to make money in Animal Crossing, but honestly, there's much more reliable ways to make money here without the risk involved in turnip trading. And for that reason, I'm not going to be turnip trading that much. I'll still be doing it, just not to the volume that I would in previous Animal Crossing games. Some might see this as blasphemous, but for the time being, I think I'm just going to get a bundle of 100 turnips or so. I'll probably come back and get more later, but 100 seems decent. I don't really have that much money, and trust me, that's about to change, but... Yeah, I think that's pretty good for now. So, we got our turnips in hand. Oh, forgot, turnips also go bad after one week. You can also eat them and they go away forever, so don't do that. Yeah, that'd really suck if you did. Uh, oh, I see Rocco off in the distance there. Uh, we should talk to him. We haven't seen Rocco nearly enough now. Um, let's see what he's got to say. Hey, Emil. You're full of pep. So is he saying quackity now? He really, really has Molly's catchphrase. It goes together like milk and ketchup. <laughs> and he's got a package that should have gone to Stinky. What is it with Stinky and having packages to, like, receive and give and all that? Like, I don't know what it is. There's something with, like, Stinky in mail today. Like, he gives us a present, he sends us a letter with a present, now he has a present that get delivered to his house instead, to Rocco's house instead of his. I don't know, I'm not complaining though, because I kind of like Stinky, but, um, should mention, uh, as I was showing there, you can, you have an open option on presents that you're supposed to deliver to animals. You can open it and see what it is, and it, they always are a real item that, you know, you could use in the game. Animals, however, will get kind of mad, rightfully so, if you do that before delivering it to them, so it's always a good idea to keep them wrapped if you just want to keep them happy. 
Should also mention Rocket was saying to deliver before the end of the day. We never did deliver that walking stick to Amelia yesterday, and for that reason, that favor is now null and void. She will not take it anymore. And where is Stinky? He was just around here. Stinky, buddy, you were right next to retail, which is where I was gonna be heading near anyway. Uh oh, he sneezed right there in my face. I hope he's not getting sick. I really would not want to catch some kind of kitty flu or something like that. All right, here you go. Here's your present. I don't really trust that he's that healthy, because I was wearing that mask. He's got to have some really nasty bacterial growth under it. Okay, what does he got? I'm going to see here. Oh, that's right. This is a thing I ordered way back when. Yeah, it was, it was taking so long to get here. I figured his shop messed up, and so I bought another one. Heh. <laughs> you should buy it. Uh, what is it with animals being like, oh, hey, your reward is that you get to buy something from me? All right. Take a chance for, say, 321 bells. 321, huh. You know, that's really not that much money. I'm kind of feeling it. I'm going to guess that it's clothes. It'd be expensive if it was stationary. If it was pretty much anything but stationary, I'd be really happy. I'm going to hope for furniture, but my honest guess is clothes because it really just seems like whenever you get things like this from animals, it's always clothes. All right? Haha, you'll just have to find out what's inside. Let's see what I get from the proverbial stinky gotcha pawn. And for some reason, the ribbon turns from green to red when he gives it to me. Don't know why. And yeah, I'm rather close. Swelty. Oh, I have the same clothing as Egbert now. Okay. I'll gladly wear this around for a little while if I can have the same clothes as Egbert, because he is awesome. I hope we see him today. And hey, Biscuit, man. Speaking of animals I want to talk to, I want to talk to you. Dog. Let's talk. Hmm. I feel like hanging out inside today. Man, I'm sick of my own place. Oh, I know. How about I come, how about I come hang out at your house? Why don't we do that right now? Eh, sure, why not? We've never shown having animals over to our house before. It's not quite the same as going over to other animals' houses where you can potentially buy an item from, like we did with Stinky yesterday. Before I uh, go with Biscuit, though, I kind of was wanting to buy more turnips from Joan because I sold some stuff to retail and I have more stuff now. So I'm going to buy a few more turnips. Had enough for 200 more turnips, so I'm just buying a mere 300 this week. Getting a lot of turnips can be a serious pain in the butt because they only stack up to 100 in your inventory and you can't, like, put them in letters for storage and stuff like that. You can put them in your proper item storage, but you know what I mean, it just adds up a lot and, yeah, it's kind of a lot. So, time to go in our house and have Biscuit over for the day. Let's see. Honey, I'm home! <laughs> just kidding, dog. Uh, Biscuit, you're laughing now, but you have no idea what you have just unleashed upon the world. The shipping will begin. <laughs> Well, it seems the news is on TV, so I might as well wait around for a little bit, because if Biscuit has something that he wants to know, he's just going to talk to us about it. He just kind of says stock things, like, oh, hey, like, you know, that item is cool. Well, let me talk to him to show what they actually say. Poke around a little bit, right? Uh-huh. Come on. You can, you can say something better than that, Biscuit. Do you ever talk to the TV, Emil? <laughs> well, I talk to video games, if that counts. You get so excited watching cookie shows, I'm always shouting things like, I'm so hungry, and give me some of that. I know it sounds doofy, but I just can't help myself. It's okay, Biscuit. It's what I've name made a name for myself on the internet doing. And I hope you don't feel so bad about talking to the TV, because, well, actually, no, you probably should. I think that's enough. Biscuit just kind of stood around and didn't really do anything. There was nothing interesting on the news that I could mention, like, weather or anything like that. So he's just going to head out whenever we head out. All right. That is it for something minor, as well as something unexpected, those favors that we ran and having Biscuit over. So what is next for us on this day in Animal Crossing? I want to head to Main Street. Not really to show everything there once again, but just because I want to stop by the Able Sisters, see how Sable's doing, because she did talk to us yesterday, she did give us the time of day a little bit, and I do want to stop by the gardening shop to kind of get our daily uh, flowers, just because I want to do a lot of gardening now that we have the beautiful town ordinance, which, at first I was a little disappointed that we didn't go with the wealthy town ordinance, but no, I think you guys made the right choice. I'm, I'm pleased with this. All right, Mabel, nice to see you. How about you, Sable? <gasps> she turned and faced us! Um, Mayor Emil, is it? Hey, what gives, sis? You almost never recall a customer's name. Don't say things you don't need to, Mabel. Be respectful. Please feel free to take a look around. Don't mind us at all. Well, that is quite the development that she's talking to us. I don't really like any of these clothes, to be honest with you. So, is there something you need for me? Uh, yeah, let's chat. Lady who works this place is pretty cool, so I like talking to her, cheeky. Uh, well, it's the most emotion that you've ever showed, but... Not exactly helpful text. Let's go see Label next. Uh, that hat right there is very iconic. A lot of official art uses it and... Oh man, I would have loved to have had that monocle on with this awesome, epic, fuzzy beard that I'm wearing, but alas, it wasn't meant to be. 
Now, the things that I'd like to do today are gonna be open to us in the evening, so I'm gonna meet you guys a little bit later. I'm just gonna stop by the gardening shop and get my two flowers for the day. Might do a little bit of gardening and maybe some fishing, but for the most part, yeah, I'll see you guys a bit later. Eight hours later. Okay, we are back in the evening now. Um, I did a little bit of stuff. I got some fishing done. As you can see, I got about 11,000 bells right now, and well, we never headed to the Nookling Junction earlier, so how about we go there and see if there's anything for the house that we might want to pick up? You know, furniture, anything like that? And hey, um, I think I want both of those furniture items, but first, can't waste any time. We gotta do the Daily Fortune. Let's see what we got. You only live once unless you have another guy. <laughs> okay, that's one of my favorite ones we've seen yet. It's not my absolute favorite fortune that I've ever gotten in Animal Crossing, but I'll take it. Let's go ahead and give that to Tommy or... Yeah, Tommy, okay. I, for a second there, I was like, wait a second, Tommy or Timmy, but no. Number 24! Ah, oh, congratulations! Price for number 24 is a great, a one-up mushroom! Alright, so we got both mushrooms now. We got a uh, regular one, a super mushroom, and a bleh, super mushroom and a one-up mushroom. Now, I was saying that I wanted both of these items. I know that you guys are saying, like, well, the owl clock seems like it would go with the room, but why this garbage pail? I will gladly show you the reason for that at the end of this video when we go to do some interior decorating, but trust me, garbage cans, much like TVs, have actual purposes, and they are a fantastic item to have around. Slight detour, but I had some letters really quick that I wanted to mail off to some animals. We haven't written letters in a little bit, and we've gotten a lot of new villagers, so... I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna send off a bunch of letters right here. I got five. I'll flash on screen what they look like right now for those who want to pause and read them, but I don't want to take time out of the video to, you know, read my own letters for a little bit, so there you go. Off they go to be to the mail, and all right. They should get delivered tomorrow morning. Hopefully we'll actually get a response this time, because I don't know if you guys noticed, but we never got a reply to any of those letters I sent off on day two. It kind of sucks, but can't really do anything about it now. With what appeared to be eight hours on Main Street, let's head back into town, and may I draw your attention to the simply magical 8 p.m. music. Ugh. Oh. caught up in the music and just mesmerized like it, like I usually am, well, we can find out together that our Arshad of Fruit has finally blossomed. Well, not blossomed, but sprouted is the right I don't know what the right word is. Uh, reproduced? Because it's technically what fruit is? I don't know. But what I do know is, we have a lot of fruit right here. We have some perfect peaches as well, and I think I'm going to plant those perfect peaches really quick, just because, well, I can. And, you know, I'd kind of like the money from it. I sold my last harvest of them, so I think I'd better plant some more perfect peach trees. Let's do that during here. The area over by retail was getting a bit full, and I thought that this area around the campsite was a little bit wanting, so but we had some nature near this campsite right here. And better yet, let's add some perfect peach trees to the mix. I mean, people camp from all over to see these awesome palette peaches, right? So how about we give them a little bit of a taste of what our town is like? <laughs> all right, there we go. Add a little bit of nature to this area. I think I'll sell the remaining fruit, but that's pretty good right there. And oh hey, uh, ran into Amelia. I walked right past her as I was on my way to go do something else. Let's uh, talk to her real quick. I'm trying to catch a pill bug, but I just can't seem to manage it. Okay, okay, Amelia. We didn't get you a bug yesterday, so we'll try hitting some rocks and see if we can not get that. Okay, uh, I already had my shovel out. Now, I was saying that I wanted to wait for the evening to do something important. The first half of that is that I want to reveal what type of bridge won that contest from earlier, and I keep getting interrupted by people. I almost said things, Pietro. Something I thought you'd like. I really struggled thinking who to give my kung fu tea. Wait a second. A rainbow sheep has a kung fu tea. He's a badass, man. I mean, think about it. He had a kung fu tea, presumably meaning that he knew kung fu. Oh, man. Pietro, you are awesome. Man, I don't judge if you're rainbow colored. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I want to reveal what type of bridge that we're going to be building, and for that reason, we're going to need some money to fund it, and mush furniture! I can't stop getting this. Mush bed, okay. My uh, red bed's been kind of a little bit, uh, I've used it quite a few times, and instead of just washing the sheets on it, I think I could just replace it with a whole new bed, you know? Live the rich person life, never sleep in the same bed sheets for more than a week, just throw them out instead of wash them. <laughs> now, I really want to find that pill bug before we go to town hall, so I'll be a minute. <laughs> Stand in line, girls. I can see you all want to talk to your awesome mayor. Here's a little something for our trouble. 
Furniture! Yay! Even more furniture! It's a blue bench. Getting a lot of blue items, actually. Maybe I'll start a blue room pretty soon. Uh, that's something I haven't gone into. There are themes of furniture, like that blue bureau that we got the other day that is in the same set as this blue bench. There's all kinds of furniture sets, and I'd like to get to show a bunch of them. In fact, we're going to have a chance to get a really, really cool one later this week. I think you seasoned Animal Crossing players know what I'm talking about, but I won't spoil it for those that don't know. Now, what was the what was the winner of that bridge joke contest? Well, I had a lot of entries, and I would like to show a bunch of runner-ups on screen right now, because... It was a little tough to choose one, though, but I think I got the winner right here. I could not decide between two jokes. These were the two that made me laugh the most, and one of them's a little bit grammatically incorrect, but the core joke still shines through. The two that I like the most, and I think both of these deserve credit, the first one's not really a joke at all, but I just really, really like what they wrote, and I feel like the icon just makes it. I had a really long joke for the suspension bridge, but I didn't want to type it all out, so this is the abridged version. But um, psh. Second one. Only stoners use cobblestone bridges. Suspension bridges are where all the cool people hang. <laughs> so, both of them were for the suspension bridge. We'll do the suspension bridge. Now, 128,000 bells seems like a lot of freaking money for what we got right now. I only have 8,000. And you know what? Before the end of the night, we will have more than enough money to pay for this. You don't believe me? I will gladly show you how much money you could make in one night in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Which, money is a lot easier to obtain here than it was in previous Animal Crossing games. Some people like this, other people don't. And I'm not really sure what I think of it. You do have both your house and your town to put money into now, so perhaps it's a good thing? I don't know. Uh, where do I want this bridge? Uh, you know? For heading down to these houses and heading down to the docks, I think putting it south of... Well, I don't know. Because that is really close to that other bridge. Nah, I'll put it over to the left of my house, just so I can go either left or right, depending on... Well... Hmm. It still means that my travel distance to those two houses at the bottom is going to be roughly the same no matter which bridge I take, so... How about we stick it right about here between the two points that I'd want to go to? Pongo's house at the end of that cape, and... Yeah, those are the two houses. Uh, we'll put it right here. What do you think? Well, let's see. Yes, things are perfect. It probably looks something like this when it's all finished. What do we got? Wow, I like how that looks, actually, man. Alright, so we'll have one bridge of each type. Let's do it. Understood. Well, let's go ahead and start the needed preparations. As in, start begging for donations. That's how everything gets started these days. How is it that we're going to get the money together for that? We Oh, Isabel's also mentioning we can only have a total of three bridges in the town at any given time, so you need to demolish an existing bridge if you want to build a new one or you're unhappy with one. Uh, demolishing a public works project is something that I hope we don't have to do at any point, because a lot of these are going to be viewer-driven things, and I wouldn't like to demolish those. If you do demolish public works project, it makes it so that you can't build any others for the rest of the day. Isabel's day is entirely eaten up by demolishing the public works project that you want to get rid of. Yeah, they really guilt trip you into it. Now, what did it need to be evening for, and how are we going to get all this money for that suspension bridge so quickly? How about we head to the tropical island at nighttime, like I was saying we were going to? This is where the big money is. This is why I don't even bother turnip trading. And well, take it away, Cap'n. There, Grams doesn't look like you have anything that interesting for sale today. Well, I like this cap and set together with my epic beard. That would be really, really cool looking, but I don't have any medals and I'm not doing any tours, so alas, it wasn't meant to be. The sea is a cruel mistress and won't let me have the captain's hat. <laughs> now, as we step outside, I gotta say, I didn't bring attention to this before, but this island is just so gorgeous. It looks nice during the day, but just the starry sky at nighttime, the way the camera angle is, and just. 
Oh, that water and how it shines together with the green grass. I mean, I like the fall colors on the mainland, but the island definitely tops our town on looks at this time of the year. I gotta say that much. Well, they're both pretty different reasons, but I digress. Uh, we got a bug right here, and this is exactly what you want to do on the island. Fishing is awesome, but bug catching is the most reliable way that you can make money on the island at night. Seriously. You don't need a turnip trade. You don't need to do any sort of fishing or grinding on the mainland. This is where it's at. There are coconut trees all over the place. There are some oak trees in the center of the island. And, well, there can only be a certain number of bugs on screen. So if you get something common like that fruit beetle over there that was on that oak tree, you really should scare it off just to make some more bugs pop out. And if you see some big fish, I kind of like to grab them if I can. Can I catch this, please? And no, I cannot. Okay, that's one thing. Any Animal Crossing player will understand this. I've always called this the twitchy finger. It's like, as suggestive as that sounds, whenever you're fishing, if you're really, really nervous, you will not send a signal to your thumb to press the A button, but it'll just do it. It's really, really frustrating, and I have been caught so many presumably great catches because of it. But, um, I'm going to be here fishing and catching bugs for a while. There are some creatures that I would like to draw special attention to, but... And... <laughs> I forgot about that one. Zebra, turkey, fish. What are you? Zebra, turkey, fish. <laughs> Never understood why they were called that in real life, either. Oh, okay. This is what I was hoping to show. This is an example of an exotic beetle. These can also appear on the mainland during the summer. On the island, they appear year-round. At least most of them do. And they will appear on coconut trees. Despite their massive size, they are very, very sensitive to sound, so be very careful when approaching them. Which is exactly why I'm talking in my speaking voice. I caught a Goliath beetle! Ha! He doesn't look so big. These are where the big money comes in. There's big fish that sell for a lot of money, sure, but the frequency in which you'll find these exotic beetles is ridiculous. In fact, some of you might even want to plant your bananas or whatever other tropical fruit you've gotten on the beach of this island just so that you have more and more areas where those exotic beetles can pop up. Just because they are that good. I, I would even say that some of you might even want to not even bother planting palm trees on your mainland beach for a little bit right now. I just did it because I like how they look, but... You know, if you want to be strategic about it... Oh, red sa red snapper? Red salmon. I just snapped it up. I caught a butterfly fish. Esmer, welcome to my pockets. I don't get it. It's so awkward to use that tone when I don't get it. Ugh. I caught a wharf roach. Even the beaches must be messy. That's not even a joke. Oh! Okay, I need to be quiet for this. This is very important. I missed this last time we were here. Let's see if I can do it now. Come on, pay attention to my non-existent bait and my non-existent hook. Do it. No! Why did I... Ugh. Oh, man. Okay. I am dropping my rental fishing rod for this one because that is lucky. I was just about to head to, like, empty out my inventory at the storage thing. And another rare bug. Man, I'm finding these just so often. I've only been here a couple minutes, too. All right. Rainbow Stag. Aren't you a colorful bug? This is one of the best-selling items in the entire game, so man, I am happy that I got that. Attempt number three. Maybe I can finally show what this is. Come on. Come through for me. You will bite down on my non-existent hook with no bait to tempt you. Do it. Be a stupid fish thing. Do it. Come on. Stop moving to the side. I locked out. The fifth bite is always a guaranteed bite. Oh, whoa! Caught an ocean sunfish. My day is brighter already. Yeah, you thought that was going to be a shark? No, that one was an ocean sunfish. Maybe I'll get to show some other fish that have fins on them because there's quite a few, more than you would expect, actually. But, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That is the most valuable bug of all! But it's going straight to blather, so why am I celebrating? Whoa! I caught a golden stag! Better not spend it all in one place. Anyway, we're gonna head home now. I want to see how much money I'm gonna get for all this. It's actually kind of exciting because I have not done a really good haul from the island yet, and... I don't know, just like doing that for the first time in Animal Crossing New Leaf is just an exciting moment. Alright, this is it. All the items I wanted to donate have been donated, so... Here we go. We're gonna sell some stuff. You are going to be getting all of these items, Reese. And what price are you going to offer me for this awesomeness? I lost track of it. Okay, here we go. 
85,100 bells! You wanna know the best part? That's not even half of what we came back with! What's the rest of it worth? 59,700. I thought it was gonna be a lot more than that. And actually, I was wrong. I did have more than half of it the first time around. But yes, from one trip of the island, with a third of our inventory being donated to the museum, not even all of it going to retail, we got everything we needed plus 30,000 bells. If that's not a sign of a broken mechanic, I don't know what is. And the best thing is, if we did a bell boom ordinance, everything we got there would have been worth 20% more. That is a lot cooler, man. Just saying. The island, some people think, is a little broken. And, well, I can kind of see why they want to make getting money so easy. I kind of wish that it was a little bit less broken, but... Eh, I'm not going to complain. Our fund has already been reached. Tomorrow, we will have a brand new bridge. There we go. Well, it's getting kind of late, at least for my standards of making these videos, because I gotta edit it together before I go to bed, because <laughs> I can't trust YouTube to upload and publish on the same day anymore. So that leaves me with just wanting to go home for the night. We didn't talk to too many animals today, but we got quite a bit done. We started a new public works project and finished it. And well, around town, I have done this. A like flowers have been planted next to each other because that is how you breed them. They need to be one space adjacent either horizontal, vertical, or diagonal, as far as I know. And well, that's pretty much how I'm going to be doing it. I'm hoping with this beautiful town ordinance that we'll get some rare flowers tomorrow. I don't know if we will, but I can dream, can I? Let's see how a lot of these items we got today look in our house. What is the effects rack? It is... Uh... A box of some sort that they're putting... Oh, I get it. Like, in the movies, they're putting effects in them. Be nice if I could open that and, I don't know, store items inside of it. Nah, I'm not gonna use that. I guess the one-up mushroom looks kinda nice next to the normal one. Nice sound effect. Replacing my plain common bed with a mush bed. Nice and comfy. Okay. I'm gonna throw this owl clock right there just because I like it. Don't need any more reason than that. And the very last thing is the garbage pail that I purchased. I was saying that this was very, very important and that you typically are gonna wanna have one of these. It's not the most important item in the world, but as you can see, I can throw an item away for good. This is how you get rid of trash without having to pay retail to dispose of it when fishing. I have a beautiful town ordinance, so I don't need to do this, but I wanted to at least show it, because there are other trash items that you can get. Some trees might give you bad fruit and stuff like that, and retail will charge to dispose of those. Here's what my house looks like in full with the camera zoomed out. It's starting to get pretty full. We might want to expand it again soon, just because it's starting to feel a little bit cramped in here, but I think that's about it. Tomorrow in Animal Crossing New Leaf, we celebrate one week of living in Pallet. What are we going to do that day? I say we get to know the animals that were here from the beginning a little bit better, and maybe some of the newer ones too. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>